This is Ian Baker Finch's brilliant shot to the fourth. Here's a man that is really on a run. This for the birdie. That will do nicely. He leads by one. He's won it here before. He knows it can be done. Oh, what a magnificent shot at a moment like that. He has this to win by two shots. So Peter Thompson from Australia. Oh, it's a very good shot indeed. Very good shot indeed. Thompson, four over par. Wanting a four for 288. Safely on the left-hand side of the green. Del Nagel, two over. Wanting a four for 286. Playing absolutely directly up to us. Desperately important shot. Three here with news would reach lock. And there he is. Beautiful shot, exactly level with the flag. About four yards away. This for a birdie too. Will it swing? Yes, it will. Thompson goes four under five times open champion. And here he is at the age of 48 in contention yet again. Good strike. Ooh, he just tiptoed over the bunker. What a nice break that was. Landed on top of the bunker, came down the hill. Got to make a move early, and he does. Nice to make a move early. Yeah. Oh, he got it. Look at it. He's been a Just wonder. reminding us that Norman three putted here yesterday for a par, and that's a better one, though. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This for the birdie. That will do nicely. Greg Norman leads by one from Nick Faldo and Bernhard Langer. Here at the 155 yards par 3 sixth, his tee shot is good. It's for a birdie and a two shot lead. Lots of adrenaline, so he might well have taken one club less than usual. How about that? Thank you very much. Second place, four below, two successive birdie at 15 and 16. There's Kilnagel safely in with a four there. Three below, two eight nine. Level with Bernard Hunt. But as he lines up this difficult par putt on the 17th, the 71st hole, he hears the cheers ahead as the charging Arnie makes a birdie at the last. That makes this putt even more crucial. What a fine effort, and the Australian leads by one, with one to play. But he does need a good approach. There is little margin for error. And he responds to the pressure brilliantly. Two more putts and victory is his. Nagel has this for the championship. Oh, close, but remember he does have two for it. Nagel, the winner of the Centenary Open. Gonna go on your screen, but this is Ian Baker Finch's brilliant shot to the fourth. Here's a man that is really on a run and he's got his putter going to boot. And so he's got that putt to go seven under par 
three strokes, clear of the field. Could be his day, couldn't it? Another birdie. And this shot from 165 yards, playing to a green, about eight to 10 feet above him. Oh, what a brilliant shot. He rolls it straight in the middle, eight under par, four under today. And he's got this championship by the throat at the moment. Scoreboard. Well, he went strangely silent as he fires it over to the left side. But uh, certainly a number of shots in hand. He's made a good contact from there. That came out well. Five iron, a lot of forward run and just a little chipping about an awkward one if he's going to get close to the pin. He's got an... <laughs> Pitch it up, he did. Rather like the shot he played at the 15th with almost exactly the same result. down the left-hand side. Uh, he's dreamt of this moment many times, I'm sure. This for the open. In she goes. I wonder if he'll keep that ball and put it on a little black and stick it on the mantelpiece. Four. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer for the year with a score of 272, Ian Baker Finch. Yeah!